Back to Master Hutch Gaming. This is Master Hutch here. I did a little rearranging of the living room. Yeah, living room. Um, I'm just over in the corner now instead of sitting over by the door. Um, at night, the breeze has been getting kind of chilly. So I'm over here where the breeze will pass through without passing right through me and making me freezing. Um, today's an exciting day. With the temperatures dropping, that actually brings about a good time to start plucking some of the beautyberry leaves. Um, my friend is going to be distilling, yes, distilling them so that we can turn them into a bug repellent that we will be able to start using next year. Um, <clears throat> I've got seven, six, seven plants of them that I found. A lot of them are extremely large and full of leaves. <coughs> so I'm hoping that I can actually create um, quite a decent amount of bug spray so that I can have some all year and uh, people that come over, like my friends when they come over to help work, they can have some. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what today's episode is going to be about. Um, I did find quite a lot of them around here, a lot more than I originally had thought was in this vicinity. Um, as, as, as I've been exploring and, and scouting out the area, seeing all the resources, uh, like, taking closer looks at everything, instead of just basic glances to see, okay, I got this, 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 and this. Now I'm actually going through the full inventory of like, okay, this is this, this is this, this is this. Um, I look at a new area and look at the entirety of the area every day. Um, I have decided that on weekends, maybe, and after I do some stuff out and about through here that needs to be done, I will go hang out at the Wi-Fi source and maybe play a game or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I was noticing I was going a little kind of crazy just staying out here all alone, doing nothing with nobody. Um, my friend picked up a second job, so he's not coming out as often so I'm not as social as I would have been so it's gonna be fun to be able to go do something like that um, play games with some of my old friends the stores don't seem to mind like if I go to McDonald's I can spend a dollar and get to spend the day there um, also if I buy something at Publix that allows me to be able to use their Wi-Fi and their plugs that they have for energy <clears throat> so it's, it's a good system where I give them money and they let me use their products um, Yeah, so today is just going to be a fun harvesting day. Um, we're probably not going to harvest too many limes. they still got a little bit of ways to go. They're not quite... Um, they're supposed to be really nice and smooth, and they're still kind of rough. So we haven't plucked those yet. Um, I've tried a few of the rough ones. They're extremely bitter. <laughs> Before they're ready, they don't have that nice flavor that everybody loves in a lime. It's still very, very bitter. <clears throat> So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much my plan for the day. My friend's coming over in a little bit. I, uh, oh, my time is really off right now. I, I just changed the battery because the other one had died. Um, it says that it's 8 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's not 8 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, my other phone died, too. I haven't gone to the Wi-Fi source in a couple of days. Um, also, I've noticed that um, when I first moved in, I was very adamant about knocking off all of the spider webs on my tent. Um, but now, I actually let them stay. There's some there. There's also some that I have right outside. So you can see there. I'm letting them stay because I've noticed that since I've let them keep the nest there, I don't have any bugs underneath. I mean, there's this one here, but he probably came from over there. Where I don't have any spider webs up built yet. That that I mean, we're, but the amount of spiders, uh, insects inside of this, have dwindled down. The um, the amount of insects I'm getting bitten by daily are have have drastically gone down. 
um, the insect repellent I now think will be better off used as something for out in the field when we go out we won't get carried off by the mosquitoes um, but yeah I want to say thanks again for watching oh, sorry about the bad lighting I think because the the way the backlight where well, was um, I want to say thanks for watching um, I hope y'all enjoy. I'm hoping that I'm being informative enough about everything. If there's any kind of like questions, concerns, anything like that, go ahead and let me know uh, down in the comments. Um, also, don't forget to hit that like, the subscribe, and maybe even the bell. Maybe even the bell. It's up to you. Um, I actually had one of my friends say how uh, she she uh, she got woken up really late one night because of my mess my my update, and I was like, I'm so sorry. She's like, No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I actually got to spend two days with her playing on our game that we usually play together. Um, I'm glad to know that you're uh, y'all are out there and you're definitely watching it and me enjoying it and everything like that. <clears throat> so um, yeah, let me go ahead and cut the video off here. Uh, my friend should be arriving pretty soon. I, I um, when he gets off of work, he's going to be heading this way. Uh, so. Um, when he gets here, we're going to be bringing out some, uh, bringing some Walmart bags with us and collecting as many beautyberry leaves as we can so that we can start on getting those distilled into our awesome insect repellent. And then come next season, I can definitely let you know guy, how it works. Um, if it does well enough, I will definitely be trying to plant more and more of those so that I can have a nice insect repellent not only for me, but maybe for a selling object uh, you know find people that would like it sell it um, I do need a little bit of money uh, I'm running out of resources I'm almost out of paper towels um, I am doing well with food but um, for like even to go, go use the McDonald's Wi-Fi for the day that cost a dollar so I do need a little bit of cash kind of thing. Um, they do let me stay the entire day though. I could go in at five in the morning when they open up the lobby or six in the morning when they open up the lobby, pay a dollar and stay all day till 11 o'clock at night when they close. Um, if it was a 24 hour, it'd be pretty cool too. They're not, but that's okay. Um, <coughs> but yeah, um, I actually even had um, some, I think I got a spider web in my mouth when I opened up the back door. I think there was a spider forming when I crossed the door and I was talking and I, cause it feels like it's in my mouth and I've been trying to grab it, but it's kind of like stuck. Um, there we go. All right. I just swallowed it. Not bad. Not bad. It feels funky. Um, yes, but, um, The police officers have stopped by. They have let me know that I am fine with staying here. They actually were kind of impressed with the the fact that I'm cleaning up the trash around here. Um, I told them that uh, I've been cleaning up trash, and, and I told them that as as I have enough supplies to pick up and collect the trash, I can keep getting it out of here. Like. Um, I had the door open. Um, I had a cooler with a bag of ice in it. The ice melted and then the water dripped out of my cooler and it got all over one of my bags. So I'm actually going to hopefully be able to convince my friend to dry off my bag for me because it smells bad and um, <clears throat> mold makes me very, very sick. I mean, I know it makes everybody sick, but it's one of the things that actually hurt me. Um, like I'm still working on getting up a lot of the trash. I, I don't know if you can see it all out there. Uh, this must have been like some drunk paradise where drunks would just come, drink, and then go home. Um, I mainly have been working on picking up what's along my paths right now, which is why often the distances I haven't gotten to those yet because along my path I've got a lot of it all cleaned up because I walk that way every day and I can bring a bag and throw it in. Um, why haven't I picked up the stuff out there yet? 
because there's a lot. Um, Give me that screenshot right there, like. That's a lot of trash to try to clean up. Um, I don't have enough bags yet to stuff it in, to bring over to a place and dump it out. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I've shown them how much trash there is back here and how much there's not on my pads, and they were quite impressed. They said that they, uh, they really don't mind me being here, especially since I am doing good for this area. Um, time will tell if they will eventually tell me to get off the land or if they will let me stay indefinitely. Um, like I just said, the only time will tell. Um, I've been working on trying to get some seeds so I can get my garden I cleared out uh, started up. It looks like ferns are growing back in. Um, so I will probably need to wait till after winter or during winter clear out more of this when it's all dead and uh, not as easy uh, not as well put into the ground it'll be easier to pull I'm sorry I found a, fin a finished lime see how flat it is Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good finished lime right there. And then I want to show you... Did you know that limes actually turn yellow too? But when they get to yellow, they're overripe. They, they, they're considered ripe once they... See how easy just plucked off? They're considered ripe when they turn yellow, but there's something about them that as soon as they turn yellow, they overripen extremely quickly. Um, there's actually a couple more good ones right here. See how they're nice and flat? They're starting to get ready. These ones are still a little rough, so they're not quite ready yet. And also, I noticed that I have an awesome freaking, um, not just the Persian lime, I also have a set of key lime. Oh, I haven't, I'm, 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 I'm trailblazing right now. Making a new path. Let me blow. Oh, my knee. Oh, I lost my shoe. Okay. <sighs> okay. A beautiful key lime tree. Look how high up that is, though. I mean, I'm, I'm six foot. I'm, my arm's about two feet, three feet. So, like, we're all the way extended. And I, like, but those are so ready. They're so ready. I want them so bad. I'm going to see if my friend will help me get them down. Because, uh, I just, I don't want to climb the tree and fall and not have somebody here to call 911 if I break a limb or something. And, and my limb, not the tree limb. If I break the tree limb, I mean, it'll be sad, but we don't need to call 911 on that. I'm talking about my limbs, my arms and my legs. Um, I've always been good at climbing trees, but these also have these massive thorns. So I do have to be careful climbing this key lime because all of my other lime trees mine i just i'm taking care of them so i'm using that statement have are thornless they're all some citrus have thorns some citrus they they've actually been modified to no longer have thorns well these key limes were not the thornless ones there are thorns all over that tree but i was thinking of using this oak to try to hopefully get up there i mean that's really dead so i don't know the the success rate of it but those key limes are perfect i mean they're, they're so smooth, and they're actually large. They're friggin' huge. Those are huge. Look at the size of those. And then, this is a, an extension of the tree. Look how small these ones are. They're ready, but they're so tiny. I, hold on. Here, let's use my hand instead of my head because it looks like it's as big as my head. Those ones up there that I can't reach are probably bigger than my palm. They're huge. I don't know why they're so big, but these are ready. I, um, I've been plucking one every now and again to snack on. Um, but those ones up there, I, I mean, this is one off that tree that I, I showed you that was ready, not the key lime. This is the Persian. Um, those, those up there are, are bigger than this. Like, those make these look kind of small. I, I don't know why they're so big. I've never really seen key limes that big. 
which is really cool because my friend is really good at baking and I'm thinking we can make a key lime pie out of that. That'll be good. Um, sorry, I'm not going to share, guys. Uh, unless you want to come visit because I could use some visitors every now and again. Um, it's really nice. It's a little hot. I don't have AC. But um, to that one, I say stop being a domesticated monkey and come have fun with me out in the forest. Oh, hi, little spider. I'm sorry, but I gotta take you down. This is my path out. That's my normal path out, by the way, that I just, that one. Um, I was doing some research into uh, the fertility of this soil, and apparently the reason that this forest up and grew was because of all of the citrus. The citrus allowed, there's a banana spider that way, let me go this way, allowed the ground to have the proper nutrition's in it and that was why it started growing um, the weird thing is these trees are friggin huge so I don't know but this does look like the they, they, they call it a sand that's grayish um, I can't remember the exact name of it right now um, I do have screenshots of it and stuff like that so I can discuss it with my friend as we are Oh, that one's just a heavy, heavy nest. Let me go all the way around back again. I'm just walking randomly. This is not my normal paths. I don't want to disturb too many of the spiders because, as I said, the ones, those few that are on my tent right now, I've noticed a drastic decrease in insect. Oh, there's that web. Finally got it. I tried swallowing it. Apparently, it just kind of stuck there. Um... Don't try spider, sw swallow spider webs. It doesn't work. Ouch! What just stabbed me? Thorns. Okay, so this is how I know that the beauty berry is uh, getting ready. You see how those leaves are starting to, to wilt? Insects are starting to actually take over them. They're losing a lot of their uh, essential oils. Uh, the, the temperature drops that we've been having is sending them into where they're going to fall off pretty soon. And we want to get them right before they fall off, which is now. Um, the berries do stay on for quite a while. And they're partly why I've got so many birds that I see every morning. I should have brought my knife with me so I could have the snack. Which was one of the main reasons I walked out. I mean, I did want to show you all some stuff. Let me go grab my knife. So I can munch a little bit while we talk a little more. Um... This video will probably be going up uh, tonight or tomorrow night, depending. I mean, all my devices are dead as of we speak, except for the one that I'm using right now. Ah. God, this is the stiff one. But yeah, um... There's that beauty berry. Oh, I never did get to actually show it because the uh, the film had stopped filming. It's right by my, my... There was this one. See the leaves? That one's been torn up pretty bad. We're definitely going to pick all the really good ones. Even some of the not so good ones. Um, but yes, um, it's definitely time to get them up. They're starting to die and wilt, which means they're going to be losing a lot of their essential oils, which is what we need for the distillation process to make the insect repellent. Um, look how pretty that one is. I'll show you from the other side. Uh, awesome orb weaver. I'm going to have to walk right under his nest right there. You see it? I don't know if you can. Look at that. I never, like, could tell if those were poisonous or not. Um, I mean, every, pretty much every spider is, quote-unquote, poisonous. Holy cow, that string stretches far. That's like 12 miles in comparison to his body size. So he goes from that lime tree all the way to this oak over here. I mean, That's a far distance to put up a web. And he's got just one one anchor line all the way across. 
and then he's got the bill the web off of that amazing techniques something just moved the front of my feet so I'm trying to make sure it's not a snake and limbo underneath um, This lime tree had fallen during one of the um, the windstorms that we had the other night. It's just up there on that dead tree. It had fallen off. And so I had to go and put it back up because that's how she gets her sunlight. Um, she's been up there like that for a long while now. So I figured I'd put her back in her home, let her grow more. Um, I probably can't get to those limes on that because the, the, the branch it's resting on is completely dead. D-E-D -E -D, dead. Oh! Mr. Banana Spider, I know I haven't walked this way in like three days, but you had to put up a mess right in my walkway? Oh wow, he's got a branch coming all over to here. He's fully surrounded. Like, not only does he have his regular orb weaved, it's got a, um, a, a whole system around his body, too. It's amazing. It's fascinating. Crap, so I've got no way into the deep woods besides that way. The really untracked path. Make sure that I duck, and I remind Tony to duck underneath this anchor web. It's such an unbeaten path this way. I, I just, I know that way really well. This way, it's got all of these ferns. The ferns love tearing off my shoes. They just hold on to it while I'm trying to step over it. But I wear these because... They are completely waterproof. They, um, they last a long time. I'm just checking out the... Oh, wow, I haven't seen an anole out here yet. But, well, the green anoles, not the brown Cuban ones. Look at that handsome guy. Hi, little buddy. Just say hi to YouTube. Yeah. You see him? He's a cutie. I'm not gonna hurt you, you're fine. On that path, I got a nice trek through the uh, the ferns where I, I, this path I've got to make a beaten path now where I can actually walk through without losing my shoes. Um, actually, they've got a, I'm kind of glad I went this way. Eh? What the hell is this? Oh. oh, that's a cemented metal pole into the ground. Sorry, spider. Orb weavers. I haven't even had my snack yet because I'm trying to. I was going to do it while I was walking around, but I've got to stay vigilant so I don't walk into all their nests. I'm trying to live. Is it an irrigation system? Interesting. Very, very interesting. I mean, I knew these limes were right over here. Um, but I never came this way just because it's it's still kind of overgrown. And I've got so much stuff over on that end. Although I'm glad I came here. I did find another beauty berry. We can get more leaves. Um, at the end of the season, I will probably be chopping them all the way back down to the root and letting them grow back up. Apparently that's what you're supposed to do with these. Or like I'd shown you in that other video, they just grow off of what died from the last year. And the plant does seem bigger, but it has less productive leaves. And, I mean, see the, the entire thing will grow out and it makes leaves and everything on it. Or like the one down there where it was never trimmed or anything like that. That one I'm thinking is kind of new. Although 
I'm not 100% expert on that just yet. I like telling the age of it. But the one down there has got to be extremely, extremely old. Oh, I don't like this path. Did find another, another, another uh, beauty berry. Holy crap, this is a whole beauty berry nest. These ones don't have uh, the berries on them yet, but that's definitely beauty berry. See, it's still a young one right here. It hasn't fruited. It's not quite old enough, I guess. Oh, or maybe the birds ate them all because I do see where they were fruiting. At least for that one. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm glad that I came this way. Uh, not the normal beaten path, but I found a ton of vines I can turn into a rope. Um, those poison berries again, the poison beans I was talking about. It's a bunch of them growing through here, so I can uh, chop those. Make some nice rope out of it. Especially since I'm hoping to get my... Um, my, my tent up onto pallets soon. I'll need to, the rope to tie it down to the stakes because it won't be able to reach the stakes once it's up on pallets because that'd be like four or five, six inches up off the ground at that point. Um, can also use those vines to better secure um, pieces of the pallet to prevent things from getting underneath the pallets. As cute as it is having the uh, snake sleep underneath me, I don't want anything else getting under there, uh, rodents and things like that, because who knows uh, when I go to leave my tent what they're going to do. Oh, that's a baby orb weaver. You're lucky I got good eyesight. Okay. I am way deep in here. In an area I haven't actually investigated before. Kind of enjoying it. I, I'm finding a lot more stuff that I didn't know was here. Um, I think maybe Tony and I will come this way, maybe not. I don't even know if he'll want to come this way. He may just say, screw it, let's knock down that nest. It's not like it's extremely close to my tent. But yeah, these, they're they're blossomed, the leaves are ready to come off, and need to come off, and soon. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I uh, just wanted to give a fun update on what's going on, how everything is going, and um, show some exciting things that I had found along the way of exploring. Ended up exploring something new today, found even more new stuff. Which is always good. I'm working on cutting my lime open with one hand. Trying not to drop it. Because that would be the waste of a nice fresh lime. I did find another beauty berry. I didn't realize those were all right here. Through this, I guess it's nice taking a different path every now and again. Awesome. 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 Okay, guys. Um... I'm sorry if this was a boring episode. I found it to be really fun to make. Um, I was exploring new pads. I had, oh, that's a den for something. That may be where the rodent that keeps messing with my house lives. The possum is, I'm almost positive is what it is, but I always hear it come from this direction. So I'm guessing that's where he lives. Um, it's a, it's a deep, deep, deep downhill forest through here. It's got that funky sand stuff that's black. Um, not black, but gray, and apparently became more sustainable for life. Oh, another den. Okay, so this is definitely where a lot of the nature was living. Um, there's not very big uh, animals in this forest, though. Um, okay, I've got to see what the heck those are. The, that metal pole I was talking about. I just found one that's actually standing up. Like I said, I have not been through this part of the forest yet. Um, I wanted to wait. Holy cow, more key lime. I'm so glad I came over here. Look how ripe they are. But that, it's gotta be some kind of an irrigation system. Cause up at the top, I don't know if you can see it, but that's 
That's sprinklers. So, um, yeah, I, I guess the they'd set up irrigation systems and everything, but then just abandon the property because this has been abandoned for a long time. I mean, most of the irrigation systems are knocked over. Um, I now know what the cement blick, uh, br brick by my house is, what it is. Uh, it's the bottom of one of these things. It's just a cement block with a metal thing. And I actually stuck a palm frond uh, stick into it so that nobody trips on it. Um, yeah, it's getting to 30 minutes, so I'm going to say uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for, uh, hopefully you like the video, and hopefully you like the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, especially share with your friends so that we can get it out. Um, it'd be very, very helpful if I could do that, if y'all could do that for me. Um, I don't have, like, any advertisements or anything like that, so it's not like I'm going to be popping up anywhere on anybody's regular search bars you know um things like that so yeah um i hope you enjoyed by the way i found another key lime i don't know if i'd mention that i'm excited about it because these are all fresh and ripe as well there's a few up there not quite ripe but this one right here in arm's reach is ripe i um i think i'm gonna abandon my persian and go for this key lime uh because it just it looks a lot more appetizing um anyway y'all have a great day um Sorry, Persian. You can go. I was struggling too much with you anyway. Ugh. Yeah, really. Ugh. There we go. Yeah. Nice and flat. Beautiful key lime. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. I haven't had one so big. So I was going to cut it open real quick and let y'all see. So I'm just kind of holding the phone in my uh, crest of my arm real quick. While I finish opening this baby up. Oh, gosh. He's so juicy. Mmm. No beauty. Look at that. Nice and ripe, nice and ready. Mm. Bitter but sweet. Oh, it's so good. Just tart enough to be perfect. Mm. All right, guys, we'll finish off with that. Y'all have a great day. Uh, hope to see you again. Uh, well, I hope y'all see me again. I don't know how, where I was even going with that one. Just, just pretend I didn't say that. Anyway, <laughs> y'all have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and I guess I will see you on the flip side. Bye, guys.